Hello and welcome to session 20 and 21. So these are combined uh, because they're very uh, similar in their design. So we're going to understand common 2D representation and 3D objects uh, and looking at how we uh, draw those shapes to include plans and evaluations. Um, here you need to understand how to use plans to evaluate, th to represent 3D shapes. Identify well-known 3D shapes uh, from their nets. Uh, draw nets uh, for well-known 3D shapes and then establish different ways of representing 3D shapes. So there are many ways to make a 2D representation or 3D shape. Here are two examples given them below. Um, I have to say I've never used the dotted paper one before. I have done this one on many occasions. Uh, 3D representation of a cube or drawn of a cube on dotted paper there or isometric dotted paper. Uh, we will find the first plan and evaluate ways of showing what 3D shapes look like. So plans and evaluations. Um, so you've kind of got your left side, your right side, your top, uh, the front and back. The 3D, the plan of 3D shape is looking is the view looking down from the above uh, side and side evaluation drawings as if looking from the solid and from side or from the front. So plans evaluations, the diagram shows the prisms. The prism is the solid object um, there. Uh, you've got the identical ends, so here and there. Uh, the flat face is the same across the section along the length. So there you go. So as it is, uh, which of these diagrams below are the correct prisms for the above? And then hopefully you would see that as this one. Uh, because again, you've got your six centimeters there. That's six centimeters. Um, And then your three centimeters plan C. For the front evaluation, you've got A, and the left side evaluation would be D, the bigger one. Good. Um plans and evaluations. These figures show the compound shapes. So we've got two there. Uh, looking at those, you've got the uh, width, the height, and all the other uh, figures you need there. So which of the diagrams below could be the view listed? So here, if we look at the plan, it'll be C. If we look at the front evaluation, it's going to be A. And if we look at the right evaluation, so the opposite side of that, it's going to be E, isn't it? Okay, so can you see how that works? Kind of there, there, uh, and then obviously there with that cube representing that there. So nets uh, or nests. Uh, another way to represent 3D shapes or 2D diagrams is to draw a net. Uh, this will fold to make the 3D shape. Uh, many examples of nets are to be found in packaging. The boxes are usually made from cardboard, and this can be recycled cardboard from the boxes. can be cut by machine from a large flat sheet. The flat sheet, the flat shapes for each box is a net. Uh, and here is a possible net for a cube. There we go. So again, we can see that would be the sides, the bottom, the left, the top, and the other side. There you go. So you can see that coming over. So which one of these would be the possible nets? So you could bring that one up, that one to the side, that one come up and over, that will go over, and then that will come there. So it would be D. Um, what shape does this net form when it's folded along the dotted line? So that would be a cuboid. Because you can bring that up, bring that up, bring the sides up. Um, 
and that would make a nice cuboid box. So you now need to identify the different uh, nets here. So which one would make this one? So C, your square base prism would be B, surely. Uh, and then your prism would be A. You could just see that by the, the base, right? So they're drawn out. So draw a net. So to draw a net from this triangle prism, you need to know uh, these figures. So here you can then draw that out. And you can see that you've got your base there, which is your four by four. You've got your sides there. So that's your five centimeters by your three by your four. So three, five and four. And then again, you've got your four and five. So if we were to draw another net, um, this container is the shape of a pyramid on the top of a cuboid, shown as the diagram below. So again, if you wanted to um, draw this, you've got your sides there. There's your base and there's your top. So again, you would need to know these figures here to be able to draw that for it to come up. So nets for a cube, you have met one possible net for a cube. There are many more. In fact, 11 different nets exist for cubes. So how many can you find before looking up the answer for the next side? Um, I'm going to show you just to put you at your miseries. There we go. So there's the possible answers there. Uh, all different ways of making a cube. Okay, lovely. So uh, the aim of this session was to identify 3D shapes in the net, draw them, and uh, establish different ways of representing them. Please make sure you do your activities and test your knowledge and check uh, back in Canvas, so back in here. And I will see you for session 22, Angles.